Hey, what's going on YouTube? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get custom camos on your guns in Combat Master. So as you can see on all my guns, I have custom camos. These ones are animated. So as you can see, I have this load right here to demonstrate. I have no custom camos on right now. Let's see if I go to customize. Um, detail color, there it's all the same. You can change it, it's just that I picked that one. So as you can see, these camos are normal. Um, animated, they're the normal camo. So pink, flamingo, whatever. I go to spray paint, I have these camos changed. The first one's this. Second one's obviously like the atomic. Uh, and you get it. So you can do this for any camo. You have to own the camo. The animated are different. So as you know, the fade and the flames, they are animated. So if you replace, it will animate it. So I have this one rainbow. This one's like the atomic. And this one's like the dark matter. And so with that, let's get into the tutorial. Alright, so you're going to want to come to this link in the description. Don't download this. This I don't even know if this is the download. Um, come to here and click download. I already have it. It will be it will download a .zip. It'll show up wherever. Next, come over here, download. I download the first one. I don't know the difference between all of them. Just download the first one, and it'll be a .zip. All right. So in order for this to work, you do need uh .net six. So I just come up here, Windows. I do x64, since I'm on Windows, if you're on Mac, obviously do whatever. So for this one, I'm going to show an example, because if you already have .NET 7 and .NET 8, it should already work, because I already have .NET 7, and I didn't need to install this. But if you don't know if you have it installed or not, just click the download. This one, I'm actually going to show you how to do. Save. It's going to download, obviously, wherever. You're going to run it. And then, so for me, it says install, but it already worked for me, because I have other versions of .NET that it supports. So obviously I'm gonna click close. All right, so now that you've installed .NET, whatever version, and you have these zip files, what you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna right click, extract all, and then it's gonna extract it, to whatever. So as you can see, this one, I have this. So now we can just delete this one. And then this one, same again. Extract all, it's gonna extract to wherever. It normally just extracts to your desktop, and it extracted. So we'll, we have the two files, and we can move on. All right. So before we jump into working these, first we're gonna need to go to Steam. We're gonna need to go to Combat Master. We're gonna right click, manage, browse local files. All right, so here, what you're gonna do, you're gonna go to data streaming assets bundles and this is where you need to be you need to find this right here attachments into refs this right here is the file that holds all the camos and all their textures all right so now that we found the attachments into refs we can minimize and open up both of these launch asset studio and then you can close this and launch the uab thing you have to open this and then scroll down a little bit. It won't be at the top. So just double click and it'll launch. Uh, more info, run anywhere. It should pop up this thing right here. Then we can move on to the next step. All right, so as you can see, I have all these windows open. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to drag and drop this attachments into refs into here. And click on OK on everything. And then this thing should pop up. Next, you're going to want to drag it into here. And then something will pop up. It'll say like, memory or something just click memory and it should work so now we can minimize this so right here we're going to click info and then we're going to minimize it and we're going to worry about this for now so here we're going to go to asset list and we're going to look up the camo we want to change so for example i will do spray and it'll come up with all the textures of spray so as you can see my sprays are different because i've already switched them out even though I have switched these out it will still be the same exact thing for you okay so now we're gonna go to the camo we want to change and we're gonna go to path ID right here and we're gonna right click make sure you right click on the actual like ID so copy text and then remember the width and height of it so now we can go into the info tab which already opened right here now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to view go to asset 
you should pop up this little thing right here. Replace the one with the path that you copied and click OK. So now it is the spray zero that we originally copied from earlier. Okay, so here is the creative part now. Now you can choose whatever texture or picture you want to use for your gun camo, as long as it's not a GIF, because GIFs don't work, and it has to be a PNG, which I'll show you how to change an image to a PNG if you need to. So now I'll just do something simple for the video. I'll just do like rainbow PNG 512 by 512. So the reason why it's 512 by 512 is because one of the dimensions was 512 by 512. So then you'd obviously just save the image. Okay, now that you have found the picture that you have saved, what we are going to do is we are going to right click, open with paint. So it'll bring up the image that you saved. So now we're going to go back to our asset studio. We're going to look at the width and height. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to this button right here, so pixels. So it was 360 by 360. That's what we're going to do. And click OK and it'll scale it down. Next, we're going to go to File, Save As, PNG Picture, Save. Okay, so now that we have saved our picture and we have got the right dimensions, we're going to go into Plugins, Edit Texture, OK. And here, we're going to click Load. So now you're going to choose the picture that you recently installed. Mine is this rainbow. Click Open and it'll do it. Now we're going to click Save. Go up here, file, save, okay, exit this, file, save, and then you can exit these. So now once we do that, we can launch Combat Master and our camo should be in the game. Alright, so as you can see, I'm in Combat Master and I have this camo already in here. So now I'm going to go to my edit weapons and I'm going to go to the camo I changed, which was one of the sprays it should now be a rainbow and it was this first one and as you can see it is different so like i said with animated camos earlier it has to be a camo that is already animated so as you can see the fade camo or the flames camo these are already animated camos so whenever you put a new picture or replace the picture with it it will become animated Anyway guys, I would like to thank you for watching this video. If this did help you, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe and share this to anybody who might need this information. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.